federal government has received 2 million doses of the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine donated by the European Union. The formal handover of the vaccines was done on Monday at the National Primary Health Care Development Agency, NPHCDA, National Strategic Cold Store in Abuja. The EU ambassador, Samuel Isopi, who made the presentation of the vaccines, said the donation is part of the EU's commitment to jointly combat the pandemic. On his part, the executive director of the NPHCDA, Faiz al Shuaib, said the federal government has procured over 39 million doses of the JNJ vaccine through Afrexin Bank. He said only about 12 million doses of the single shot vaccine are currently in the cold store. Today's donation brings us collectively closer to reaching the milestone of 500 million doses delivered by COVAX with 300 million donated by Team Europe, an achievement which is worth celebrating today. The European Union is so far the biggest donor of COVID-19 vaccines in the world. To date, Team Europe has mobilized at least 38 million billion euros, of which 8 billion for the African continent. The European Union is now stepping up its efforts to support Africa, where vaccination is lower than in other parts of the world. This will be also at the center of the discussions that European leaders and African leaders will have next week at the upcoming European Union African Union Summit in Brussels. Today's donation signifies the continuation of the commitment of the European Union and its member states to support Nigeria's fight against COVID-19. Uh, with today's donation of 1,936,050 doses of the uh, Johnson & Johnson vaccine through the European Union, uh, we also have a stock of about 10 million uh, doses of the vaccines that have been donated through the COVAX. This brings uh, to a total uh, just uh, a little over 51 million doses of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine that have been donated to uh, the government of Nigeria. And we're very excited about uh, the fact that this is a very safe and efficacious vaccine. It is a vaccine that uh, we now use as a single dose vaccine. Uh, and then uh, the opportunity exists for a booster dose. But for those hard to reach areas, uh, this is a vaccine that is going to be very, very uh, critical.